I'm, uh, I don't follow the records. The records follow me. Since I first got here, I never stopped working. Today was when all the work paid off. And I done what I said I was gonna do. I feed off this, I feed off this. I love this stuff. This is what gives me energy. Saying I'm gonna do something. Saying, putting it out there for the world to see and then going out and doing it. But if you want something bad enough, if you want something bad enough, you can't let anybody tell you you can't do something. I'll repeat that. If you want something bad enough, you can't let anybody tell you you can't do something, not even yourself. You only go as far as you dream. <laughs> that's I, it? I tell that to comics all the time. They're like, I just want to make a living on it. And I'm like, that's all you'll do. You got to dream big. Yeah. I think people say that because they're trying to be humble. Yeah, but fuck Universe that. doesn't reward humility, man. You might be humble with everybody else, but you got to tell yeah. the fucking universe, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. I want to be bigger than life. Yup. We work hard for our stuff. It don't come easy. In life, you have to work. Either you want to be the shark of the ocean, or the fish of the ocean. And right now, we want to be the shark. Take over everything. Strength, no weakness. Power, the muscle. You have to have that mindset. So you're gonna come in here and dominate. Reminder that if you want to be exceptional, you're going to be different from everyone else. That's what makes you exceptional. You can't fit in and also be exceptional. Both have discomfort. When you fit in, you have internal conflict because you're not being 100% you. When you're exceptional, you have external conflict because everyone sees you as different. Pick one. When your friends start to say, you've changed, remember it's because they don't know how to say, you've grown. But the few that I did respect are the people who were uncommon amongst uncommon people. And what that means is those people who weren't afraid to stand alone. Those people who have morals, values, who, who did not go with, if all you guys are going left, it's that one person who say, you know what, left's not the right way. I'm gonna go right. Who didn't follow the crowd. That person who's not afraid of doing what they believe is right in their heart and not following someone else because someone else said, let's go this way. And they agree with everybody. I don't like yes men or yes women. If you're right, you're right. We're gonna follow you. But I like people who stand for something, they believe in something, and this is the way I'm gonna go whether you like me or not. I'm 33 and I've dedicated my whole life to this. I, I, had no, I had no youth life. I had no teenage life. I had no young adult life because guess what? While all my friends and people who I knew were out drinking and partying and enjoying life, what was I doing running fucking 10 miles down the road in the fucking rain? Or killing myself in a boxing gym? And then people say to me, you know what, you're lucky. You're a lucky man, you are. I'm lucky because I fucking worked all the hours that God gave me. I'm lucky because I pushed it further than everybody else would dare to do. I'm lucky because I fucking trained so hard that I can't be beaten. That's a lucky man. I don't think so. I have given every single thing, every ounce of my life to this craft, to perfecting my craft, and I continue to do so. And in the process, I have lost my mind to regular society, to people who wake up at 9 a.m., who clock out at 5 p.m., they would look at me and say, I've lost my mind. But you also love individual awards. They matter to you. It's part of my sacrifice, my obsession to win, to have success. You know, when I mean, when I say success, it's, I work for that. Talent is not enough. You have to, I dedicate myself so much that this is part of me, records is part of me. I don't follow the records. The records follow me, which is, is different. Are you addicted to winning? Yes, I am. I'm addicted to the success. Obsession is gonna be talent every time. You got all the talent in the world, but are you obsessed? Is it all you ever think about? You know, basketball for me was the most important thing. So everything I saw, whether it was TV shows, whether it was books I read, people I talked to, everything was done to try to learn how to become a better basketball player. Everything, everything. And so when you have that point of view, then literally the world becomes your library to help you to become better at your craft. The world becomes your library to help you improve your craft, better yes. your craft. Yes, indeed. It's time to stay focused. It's time to decide Fuck clubs, fuck partying, fuck trying to fit in and socialize. 
rub elbows with everybody so people can stop calling you weird. Why are you so antisocial? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you staying on the basketball court so much? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you out there practicing in the hot sun when ain't nobody else out there? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you not clubbing like every time I text you and invite you to go do something fun and cool, you always studying? Because I'm trying to get it. You don't have to have a doctorate or a PhD, PhD or a master's degree. What you have to have is determination. You have to have an inner will to get things done. You have to have a desire and I know the desire is there. I hated my current existence. And so I think some people like don't hate their current existence. And so like, I don't think you know, like you either have to really believe that this thing's going to happen or you have to know that your life sucks. And I knew that my life sucks. And so I knew that if I did something else, it would have, it would have a higher likelihood of changing my life than not doing something. And at least that's how I would say that I probably saw it in the beginning. Like, I didn't know if it was going to work, but I knew that I wasn't going to. If you're not enjoying it, rethink your life. Try to figure out why you're, why you're not enjoying it. You still think it's possible to shift things in your 50s? Yeah. If you're alive, you can get better. No yeah. matter what. Yeah, no matter what. If you're alive, you can shift things. Yeah, and also an understanding that you can't listen to people. Because even my parents didn't want me to do martial arts. They didn't want me to fight. They didn't want me to do stand-up. There's like, you, you have to understand like who you are and then in the face of other people's either criticism or you know lack of faith in your ability to succeed you push through and there's great benefit in that and then you realize that, that you can kind of apply that to other things in life you can apply that to critics you can apply that to social media commentators you can apply that to a lot of things make sure to subscribe to us for more motivation you have not yet learned how to aim while the spirit is tamed, and you can't see all the cards in your hand. It's not saying the cards aren't there. It's just you haven't matured enough to see them. And there will come a time you keep going, and you keep learning, and you keep growing, uh, that one day you'll look down and the card you needed was there and it's been there all along. But that ain't gonna come for a while. I can't be the man that I wanted to be. Well, of course you're not right now. You will not be the man that you want to be until you grow into it. You have to grow into it. I had to invent a guy that didn't exist. I had to invent a guy that can take any pain, any suffering, any kind of judgment, call whatever the fuck in the world and be able to stand in the fucking room and say, go fuck yourself. I had to build, the, I had to build this callous mind and I built it through suffering. I built it through downright fucking just crushing myself. If, if it was raining outside at three o'clock in the fucking morning, if it was snowing, the first instinct is don't go out there and do shit. My instinct was we gotta fucking go out there. Anything that was fucking horrible in my life that I would normally say no, that was inhumane to most people, I had to go do it. Do you think what makes you different to the others, to the next rung on the ladder, if you like, of very good players? is the dedication level that you put in? I think I'm good, but I think my main st strength, it's my mind. I think uh, it's my strongest point, it's my mind. Pierce, the, the numbers, they don't lie. If you see during the last 15 years, my, my level is always kind of the same. So effort, dedication, work hard, because the talent is not enough anymore. And if you're not dedicated 100%, you're not gonna reach the level that you want. We are taught how to drive cars, how to read, how to write, how to pay bills. We're taught all these things in life. We are not taught how to fight, mentally fight. Very few of us have the courage to fight for what we really want. We sit back, we bitch, we complain, we moan. Learn to armor your mind, stay hard.